Bry Chris from CNET, and I'm here with the Amana AMC 216 6AS. And this is a countertop microwave that retails for $219. It's got 1200 watts, so it's pretty powerful. It'll cook a little faster and a little more evenly than microwaves with lower wattages. It's also pretty big. If you look at it here on the uh, table beside me, it's taking up quite a lot of room. It is a roomy beast of a microwave. It has 1.6 cubic feet inside of it and a 13-inch turntable. Plenty of room, plenty of space for whatever you want to stuff inside of it. Now looking over the Amana, it's got a pretty basic design and doesn't look like a modern microwave, if you ask me. It's got the stainless steel, which is a nice touch, but a lot of microwaves have that right now. It's a very popular option. But it's boxy, you know? It's big and boring looking. It's got the green clock here that just doesn't look like something out of 2013. So I would prefer something with a few more modern touches to make it look like a $219 microwave. In addition to the basic design, it's also a microwave with some pretty basic features. You're not going to find convection cooking or inverter technology. It's just kind of a standard microwave. It does the same thing as a cheap $80 microwave would do, albeit a little bit better and with a little bit more room inside. If you take a look at the buttons on the front, it's got your standard presets that you'd expect from a microwave. It has popcorn and potatoes and pizza and frozen entrees, and all of those work pretty well as a basic microwave, but again, for $219, you wish it had something more, something different. So this is a weird mix of high-end and basic. It's got a high-end price, but it's sort of basic in terms of features. That said, it does perform pretty well. We thought that the popcorn preset in particular was great. You put a bag of popcorn in this thing and hit the preset button, and it'll pop it in 90 seconds flat to perfection. We tested this again and again with a standard size bag of popcorn, and every time it left less kernels unpopped, it didn't burn or scorch any of them, and it did it really fast. It did it faster than other microwaves that we tested. So all in all, a great preset. If you love movie night or popcorn in general, this is the microwave for you. The other presets work too, but they have a few flaws. The potato preset, for instance, only cooks by potato. You can cook one potato, or you can pick two potatoes, but you can't cook by ounces. So if you have a big potato, it might undercook. If you have a small potato, it might overcook. Keep in mind, this is a high wattage microwave, and it's going to cook things just a little bit faster than you would expect. And some of the presets don't seem to know this. The frozen entree preset, for instance, cooks things at the full length of time, and that leads to a slightly overcooked frozen entree. With our lasagna that we tried, the cheese was just a little bit disintegrated and too well done, and we didn't like that. All in all, this is a good machine, and it's certainly better than the $40 Craigslist microwave that I have in my kitchen. But I wouldn't pay $219 for it. If you're looking to upgrade and looking to spend that kind of money, I think you can do a lot better. For CNET, I'm Ryan Chris.